Hello, beautiful people. It's Karen here. I hope you are having a sublime day. Today, we're going to make blue cheese meatballs. These are so delicious and they're perfect for an appetizer. They're perfect for dinner. Pair them with pasta, pair them with a the salad. They go with everything. Now, if you're going to make these for a party or to share, I suggest you make a double patch because you will find yourself popping them in your mouth one after the other. And by the time you get out the door, you'll find that you've only got half your batch. So make a double batch. Let's go take a look at the ingredients that we'll need to make this. The ingredients for these decadent blue cheese meatballs are one pound of ground beef. You'll need one third cup of breadcrumbs. You'll need a fourth pound of blue cheese. You will need a fourth cup of mayo. You will need two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. You'll need one tablespoon of stone ground mustard. You'll need one egg. You'll need a couple cloves of garlic. You will need a fourth teaspoon of thyme, a fourth teaspoon of rosemary. You'll need some finely chopped red onions, and you will need a half cup of milk. I use whole milk and garlic and some fresh parsley, and that's it. When you are assembling these meatballs, you want to combine everything except the breadcrumbs and the beef, and you'll add that in last. So you want to start by crumbling your blue cheese. Then you want to add in your mayo. And again, we are using one fourth cup of mayonnaise in this mixture. Then we want to add two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. You want to add a tablespoon of mustard. your onions, your garlic, your parsley, and then we're going to do a fourth teaspoon of both rosemary time. We're going to mix all this and then we're going to add our egg and our milk. We have a little bit of salt and pepper here which we're going to add. Next we're going to add our egg and then our milk. And again, this is a half a cup of milk. We're going to mix this to incorporate everything. And next we will add our breadcrumbs. Now, as you can see, this mixture is a bit soupy and that's exactly how you want it. Because when you add your breadcrumbs and your ground beef, that is going to keep the mixture extremely moist while it bakes. I'm next going to add my breadcrumbs. And again, we are adding one third cup of breadcrumbs to this mixture. This is how your mixture will look once you have incorporated your breadcrumbs and the ground beef. Now that everything's been incorporated, you will make one half inch balls out of your mixture. 
You can either bake this, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it bake it at 375 degrees for about 10 minutes, or you can brown it on top of the stove in a skillet. It's up to you. Once you mold your balls, pop them in the fridge for about 10 minutes and you'll get a better cook on them. I'm about to pop these in the oven at 375 degrees for about 10 minutes. The amount here is only about half of the batch. I'm only baking half of the batch currently because if I bake the entire batch, I will simply sit and eat them constantly. They're so addictive. These are the meatballs just out of the oven. As you can see, there is a bit of the cheese that has melted out. So let them sit for about a minute and a half, and then you will be able to remove all of that cheese with the meatball because you don't want to lose that. I let them rest for about a minute, and now they are ready to eat. So these are your blue cheese meatballs. Just try not to eat them all before your guests arrive. Hello, beautiful people, it's Karen. I hope you enjoyed the recipe for my blue cheese meatballs. If you did, hit the subscribe button and you will never miss another one of my videos. Until we meet again, think sublime thoughts.